And I hope you're having a good day. This is Kurt Berglund with Replay Baseball. We are continuing our walk through the um, Diamond Decades. Today we're doing the 1980s and a matchup that, I don't know, was sort of a hallmark of the National League Eastern Division um, from the middle to the end of the decade, and that is the Mets visiting Bush Stadium. Today it's the 1986 New York Mets visiting the 1985 St. Louis Cardinals. Davey Johnson versus Whitey Herzog and all that good stuff. Um, the opposing pitchers today are Ron Darling for the visiting Mets, the right-hander uh, who won 15 games in 1986, and he'll be opposed by a uh, 20 game winner Joaquin Andujar who went 21 and 12 in 1985 and so we have a pair of right-handers going in this one uh before we start just a warning I'm not uh using the uh, well let me say it positively I'm choosing when to send a runners uh for stealing bases I don't follow the replay stuff except for the jump chart and the jump uh, rating uh, and the hold rating. And then we go. Um, and the other thing, I can't remember what it was, but we'll get to it along the way. Uh, let's get to the starting lineups and get rolling. The first game, oh, that's what I was going to tell you about. Game one in this series. This is game two of their season. In game one, it was Dwight Gooden against John Tudor, and uh, Tudor came out victorious 5-2. to two. Um, Bill Campbell picked up kind of a cheap ninth inning save, uh, but um, the Cardinals, or I'm sorry, the Mets only had four hits off Tudor, and uh, the Cardinals had a home run from Jack Clark, who, if you remember the 1985 Cardinals, he was far and away your best bet to get a home run. And they scored uh, three runs in the seventh inning to put themselves comfortably in front. So, Tudor over Gooden, 5-2 to two in game one. All right, with that, by way of setup, let's get to the starting lineups. And there's... A nice picture of Bush Stadium circa 1985. Um, here are the lineups for the visiting Mets. Leading off in center field, Lenny Dykstra betting second. At second base, Wally Backman betting third. At first base, Keith Hernandez betting fourth. Doing the catching, it's Gary Carter betting fifth. In right field, Daryl Strawberry betting sixth. In left field, I'm playing Kevin Mitchell today. Batting 7th at 3rd base, it's Ray Knight. And batting 8th at shortstop, Rafael Santana. And on the mound is Ron Darling. 15-6 and six with a 2.81 earned run average in uh, 34 starts on the season. All right. For the homestanding 1985 St. Louis Cardinals, it's Vince Coleman in left field leading off. Willie McGee in center field, batting second. Tommy Herr batting third at second base. Jack Clark batting fourth at first base. Andy Van Slyke batting fifth in right field. Terry Pendleton batting sixth at third base. Daryl Porter batting seventh and doing the catching. Ozzie Smith batting eighth and playing shortstop. And there is Joaquin Andujar, 21-12 and 12 with a 340 earned run average. 38 starts and 270 innings in his last big season in the majors. He was still around for a few more years, but this was the last biggie for him. All right, so let us begin with Lenny Dykstra stepping in against Andujar, and we are ready to go. There's a 3-2 which is a 29 on Dykstra's card. We add two from Andujar. That's a 31, which is a line drive at Vince Coleman. He's going to put that one away for out number one in the first inning. We're underway. 
in St. Louis. Now it's Wally Backman. The pitch from Joaquin is a 4-1. That's an 18 on Backman's card, and that's hit to the second baseman. And that is Tommy Herr. Tommy Herr is a 2. That makes 20. And even I can figure that out because we remember, friends, there's three kinds of people. Those that can do math and those that can't. Uh, okay, so this is grounded to her, and that's a 20. And I'm not using the umpires, gang. Not using them. That one's out at first, and there's two gone in the top of the first. We don't use the umpires. That's an extra roll that doesn't mean anything. So here we go, Hernandez. Her in there now against Andahar, the pitch. That's what I was going to tell you before. I was going to talk about the umpires. No umps. 3-1 is a short fly ball. And we got a 2 on Andahar's card. Our short fly ball results. is right there, it's a five, and that gives us a five, plus two from Andahar's card. And that's a base hit that drops in front of Coleman. It's a single for Hernandez, and he's aboard in the top of the first with two outs. And here comes the kid who was not a kid anymore in 1986, but what the heck, they keep calling him that. Anyway, Andahar to the stretch and the pitch to Carter is a six four. And that's an uh, 16, and ours a righty, and and ours contribution is a 2, that makes 18 in column 6, which is hit high to left field toward the line, and Vince Coleman's going to drift over there and make the catch for out number 3, and that ends the top of the first inning, we've got no score in Bush, and we're going to have those Cardinals come to the plate against Ron Darling. In the bottom of the first, Coleman, McGee, and Her coming up for St. Louis. Darling winds and delivers. There's a 2-6. And that is a looping drive to the outfield. Let's see what we get on this one. It's a 5, so it's going toward right field. This is a 6 which makes it a five, strawberry is a three, and so that one's gonna loop right in front of old Daryl, and Coleman's aboard with a single. And we know what that means. Willie McGee's up, <clears throat> excuse me. <clears throat> Willie McGee's up and there's nobody out. And this is the Cardinals' chance to do what the Cardinals did. So, Darling to the stretch. And the pitch, and there goes Vince Coleman. It's the hit and run, my friends. It's the hit and run. So we get a four on Darling's card. We get a... ...22 on McGee's card. So we got a 26 going. And this one's hit to left field. Here comes Kevin Mitchell, and he's going to make the catch for out number one. So with one out, Coleman jogs back to first base, and Tommy Herr comes to the plate. <clears throat> Check Coleman's jump rating. It's a six, of course. Darling's hold is a four. And so he's going. The letter for Coleman is a C. So we'll get our action chart. And there goes Vince. Darling to the stretch. The pitch home to her is an 8. And that's a POE. That means that we all have to stop what we're doing and read the Raven. No, that's not true. All right, so we have a possible error on the pickoff attempt. We're going to check Ron Darling's error rating. It's an 11. And sure enough, he threw it in the dirt. Hernandez could not come up with it. 
and Coleman will take second. on the air. So now Her has a runner in scoring position. Darling checks Coleman at second. The pitch home to Tommy is a 5-1, which is a 4. And a 3 is the contribution from Darling's card. That is a walk. So we had two on for St. Louis now, and here comes Jack the Ripper. Coleman on second, her on first. There's one man out. Double play candidate if they can get him to hit it on the ground, but Jack Clark didn't do that very often. The pitch from Darling is a 4-3 on Clark's card. That's a 5. A 6 to her, to, uh, sorry, to Backman. Backman is a 3. That makes 8. We got the infield at double play depth. And Backman's going to flip to Santana to retire her. And there's two outs in the bottom of the first now. Coleman gets to third. Clark is safe at first. First and third, two outs for Van Slyke. Darling, the stretch one more time, the pitch. So 1 4, that's a 5 on Van Slyke's card, and a four makes six. And that's strike three swinging on a Darling Bender. We have played one complete, and there is no score in St. Louis. The Mets threatened, got a hit, left two, but did not drive any of them in. So we're going to the second inning. It's Strawberry Mitchell and Knight coming up for the Mets. Andohar winds and delivers. 3-4 is a 31 on Strawberry's card. And four more from Andohar's card. Makes a 35. Yeah, in column three. And that's going to be over McGee's head and bounce off the wall. Strawberry helps himself to a double to lead off the top of the second. Now it's Kevin Mitchell and hard the stretch and the pitch to Kevin. There's a 2-4, that's a 3. Plus 4 from Andahar's card makes 7. And that's popped up. Foul territory. Wally Backman's gonna, I'm sorry, did it again. Tommy Herr goes over and gets it. And puts it away for out number one. Now it's Ray Knight at the plate. I said, oh, man. Tommy Herr goes to get it, not back. But Tommy Herr goes to get it, and that retires Mitchell. Now we're straight. Knight is at the plate. Andahar, the stretch, the pitch. It's a 42 plus a 4 makes 46. That's a line drive right at Ozzie Smith. He makes the catch. And it looks like Mr. Strawberry has wandered from the base. If I roll anything but a one, they got a double play, and he gets back. Wow. All right, so a line out by Knight brings up Santana with Darling on deck. But they're so glad they get to pitch to Santana they're not going to walk him to get to Darling. The pitch to Raphael with Strawberry still at second base. A 1-2 on Santana's card makes 35, plus 3 makes 38. This is a grounded to Pendleton, and Terry fires across to Clark, and that retires the Mets in the second. So Strawberry's leadoff double is wasted. We go to the bottom of the second, and there's no score. Darling will face Pendleton, Porter, and Ozzie Smith. In the Cardinal second, he winds and delivers a 5-2, which is a 27. Plus two from his own card makes 29 for column five, and that's hit to center field. But Lenny Dykstra's got plenty of room, and he puts it away for out number one. Now it's Porter. 221 for Daryl on the season. 6-2, and his card makes an eight. Plus two from Darling's card, and that's a single to center field. 
That is a single to center field and Porter's on with one out. Here comes Ozzy. Darling the stretch and the pitch. One six is a five for Ozzy. Two more make seven. That's popped up. Now Wally Backman's under it and he puts it away for out number two. And here comes Andujar. A man who was a confident hitter for no understandable reason. He didn't get cheated, we know that. All right, so there's his card at the plate. Darling the stretch checks Porter to pitch home is a one, two, that's a two, and one more from Darling. Hey, he struck him out, that's Darling second. Plenty of broccoli. Cause he gave Andahar some gas. All right, so. We go to the third, we're scoreless. And our first will take on Ron Darling at the plate, and then it'll be Dykstra and Backman at the top of the Mets order. The pitch to Ron Darling from Andujar is a five six, that's a one. And four more from Andujar's card. Makes a ground ball toward Terry Pendleton, and he fires to Clark for one out. And here comes Dykstra, nails is 0 for 1. The pitch, 4-5 is an 11 on Dykstra's card, and this is grounded to Tommy Herr. And that's a 13, so we gotta check Herr's error rating. It's a 55, and he booted it. And let's see if he really put it in. Nope, he didn't. He just a one base error. That's an E4 for Dykstra. He's aboard. Now the Mets could do a little something here as well. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think they might do that. So Andrahar's hold rating is a three. And Dykstra's jump is a five. So if we roll a five or less, Dykstra's going to go for it. We did not roll a five or less. We rolled a six, my friends, and Dykstra's staying put. Backman up there now. Pitch from Andahar. We have a looper. We have a looper. It's going toward right field. Here comes Andy Van Slyke. It's a five. That's a four. Van Slyke's defensive rating is a four. And so that's going to drop in for a base hit. We gotta check Van Slyke's arm, but I cannot believe, yeah, he had a gun. Yeah, he's got a five, and Dykstra's not faster than that. Oh my gosh. If their speed is higher than the outfielder's arm, it's not higher, he stops at second. So Dykstra's at second, Backman's at first, there's one man out, and a in a mini jam. Hernandez coming to the plate, double play target, the pitch from Andahar, 6-2 is an 8, and a 5 is a 3, and this is going to be trouble. This is going to be trouble. Base hit for Keith Hernandez, and, <coughs> excuse me, uh, Yeah, they're going to send Dykstra. He's a five. He's shot down. If it's a six, he's safe. He scores. It's one nothing Mets on the single from Hernandez. Backman will stop at second. And there's two on with one out for Carter. one nothing Mets in the top of the third. Pitch to Gary. 1-6 is a 45, plus 3 from Andahar's card makes 48. And that's a comebacker. So we got to check the defense rating for Andahar. That's a 3. 
four, five, or six, they turn it. No, 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 no. So Anduhar turns and fires to Ozzy. Throws a little off target. The wizard fires to first and not in time to get Carter. He beats the rap there. Backman advances to second. Hernandez is retired on the fielder's choice. So with two outs, it's first and third for the Mets. And here's Strawberry, who doubled last inning. Still one nothing Mets. The pitch from Andujar to Strawberry is a 55 plus... Oh, I'm sorry. No, I'm wrong. It's a 3-2, not a 2-2. 2-2 would be ballet. And it's not ballet. <laughs> okay, 3-2 is an 11. Plus 3 makes 13. That is lined to Ozzy, and that retires the side. One run out of all that on two hits. They leave two. Could have done more damage, but did not. After two and a half, it's Mets 1, and Cardinals nothing. Darling now facing the top of the Cardinals order. Coleman, one for one today. Then McGee. And then her. 5-1 is a 2. Plus two more from Darling. Makes 4. And it's grounded to Santana. Rafael gloves it. And fires to Hernandez for out number 1 in the 3rd. Here comes Willie McGee, who flew out in the 1st inning. But hit 353 and 85. The pitch... 6-4 is a 6 on Willie's card. It's a 4 on Darling's card, and that's a base hit to center field. McGee's aboard. Now, he had a lot of aches and pains in 1985, but he is still a threat to go. He stole 56 bases. Let's see what they decide to do here. Yeah, I think he's going to go. One out, I think he's going. His jump is a six, so he's got it automatically. Checking the C column, I want to say he's a C. Yes, he is. <clears throat> so let's see how Carter does. The pitch home, it's a 7. SBE, stolen base plus possible throwing error on the kid. Did he launch this one into center field? Here's Carter's error number is a 43. He did not. Stolen base for McGee, and he holds right there at second base. So he's in scoring position with one out for her. Darling's to the belt. The pitch is a six on hers card. Plus four <clears throat> on Darling's makes a single to center field. They are... Oh, I should have sent Backman to third earlier and yeah that would have scored him but we're not going to worry about that all right so mistake acknowledged on Backman all right so here we go with McGee he's going to try and score unless I roll a six he's going to get home and tie this game he does on the single by Tommy Herr and okay, her holds it first. One to one. Now it's Clark, Jack the Ripper. One out, bottom of the third. Her at first. The pitch from Darling is a two three. That's a four. Plus one from Darling's card makes five, and that's strikeout number three. It's a broccoli cauliflower medley. Gas for Clark, and there's two outs now. Van Slyke struck out in the first, two outs, her at first. The pitch, 5-2 is a 27, plus two 
from Darling's card makes 29. That's hit to center field, and here comes Dykstra. He puts it away for out number three. The Cardinals come back with one of their own on a pair of singles. They leave one. After three, we're tied at one. All right, so Andujar, new lease on life. He'll face Mitchell, Knight, and Santana in the Mets' fourth. The pitch is a 3-4. That's a 57 on Mitchell's card. Plus two makes 59. And we have a rare play possibility. No, no rare play. It's a dribbler. It's a dribbler toward the mound. Mitchell sprinting toward first. And they got him at first base. Andahar fires one of his 110 mile an hour fastballs at 40 feet for, to Jack Clark. But Jack caught it and stepped on the bag. And there's one out. Now it's night. Pitch to Ray is a 3-6. That's a 42 plus 3 from Andahar's card makes 45. And that's lined it short. And the Wizard comes up with that one. There's two down. And now it's Santana. Rafael only 218 and 86, but he was there for his glove. The pitch is a 2-1. That's a 39. And a 3 makes 43 in column 2. That's a comebacker. And gloved by Andahar, he's going to get his first 1-2-3 inning, and he does. We have played three and a half, and it's 1-1 one, one in St. Louis. Having fun with replay baseball, Diamond Decades. Darling will face Pendleton, Porter, and Ozzie Smith in the fourth. The pitch for five is a one. Four is grounded to Santana. He one-hands that one and fires to Hernandez for out number one. Now it's Porter. Daryl singled in the second. The pitch from Darling is a 5-5. Five, five. That's a 20 on Porter's card. Plus four from Darling's makes 24. And Daryl draws a one-out walk. Now we hit the action chart because on the first pitch... Something's going to happen. First pitch to Ozzy. Here we go. Checking column M. That's a passed ball check. Got to see what Gary Carter's passed ball situation was. And it's not higher. So we're good. He blocks that pitch. Porter stays at first. There's one man out. Ozzy's ahead in the count. 1-0. Andujar is on deck. The pitch to Ozzy is a 6-2. That's a 7. Plus 4, that makes 10. And that's a base hit to center field. And Daryl Porter is going to stop at second base. And so there's two on now. With one man out. And what to do with old Joaquin? Well, 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 well. They're going to move the corners in to accommodate Mr. Andujar. Darling, the stretch, the pitch. Joaquin squares, even though he was a horrible bunter. And sure enough, he falls off two strikes. Now Whitey Herzog's got to decide whether to keep the bunt on. And here's the pitch from Darling. And a hard squares one more time. And that one, he gets it down. And it comes back to Darling. Ron's going to go to first with it. Where Tommy Hur is covering. And that'll be two outs with the runners moving up to second and third. Porter now at third. Ozzie Smith at second base. Two outs, bottom of the fourth. Vince Coleman with a chance to drive in some runs. And give the Cardinals the lead. Darling, the stretch, the pitch is a 3-1. That's a 69. Plus one makes 70. Yeah, that's right. Column three, and that's popped up. Keith Hernandez in fair territory is going to take it, and he does. And that retires the Cardinals in the fourth inning. We've played four complete. 
Got a good one in St. Louis. One to one. Lenny Dyke, I'm sorry. Ron Darling first, then Lenny Dykstra, then Wally Backman for the Mets in the fifth. The pitch is a 5-6. That's a 1 for Darling. Oh, and I didn't even look. I didn't even look what it was for Andujar, but I'm going to use this 2. And that's grounded to Jack Clark, who's going to take it unassisted for out number 1. I recognize my mistake. There's Dykstra. 0 for 2 with a run scored for the Nails guy. 5-5 five, five is a 20. Plus 3 makes 23 in column 3, and that's a walk. Dykstra draws a one-out walk, and we got to check the action chart. With Wally Backman coming to the plate. That's a three. P.O. puts a po, so we got to read the Raven again. Again. Uh, possible error on pickoff attempt, so we got to see now. Joaquin, pretty careless defender, as you can see. And sure enough, that's an E1. So Dykstra is going to get to second base with one out and Backman can put the Mets in front with one of those Wally Backman singles. Andahar, the stretch, and the pitch to Wally is a 2-1. That's a 39. With a 1, that's a 3. I know I'm not playing injuries either. Don't send cards and letters. 3, 43 makes 42 in column 2. And that's grounded to... Ozzie, we're going to hold Dykstra on that one uh, because the play's in front of Dykstra. And so we're going to say that he stays there. And that may not be in the rules, but that's the way we're playing it. Okay, two outs, and now Hernandez with Dykstra in scoring position. The pitch from Andujar. 5-6 is a 3, and a 1 makes 4. And that's grounded to Ozzy one more time. And he flips to Clark. We have played four and a half, and we are tied at one in St. Louis between these great teams of the 80s. Darling will face McGee, her, and Clark in the bottom of the fifth. One for two for Willie. And the pitch is a 4-2. That's a five, and that's grounded to... Hernandez, who's going to flip to Darling covering, and there's one out in the bottom of the fifth. Now it's Tommy Herr, one for one with a walk for Tommy. He has the Cardinals' RBI in the day of the pitch. Four, five is a six to second base is Wally Backman, and he's going to throw to Hernandez for two outs. And now it's Jack Clark. Jack's 0 for two. Darling wines and delivers. It's a 1-3. That's a 30. Plus one from Darling. And Clark draws a two-out walk. Now it's Van Slyke. Andy Van Slyke. 0 for 2 on the day. 5-1 is a 4. One, uh, Two more from Darling is... Ball two. Ball two to Van Slyke. Darling, the pitch one more time. is a 5-2. That's a 27. Plus four makes 31 in column five. Center field high but not deep. Dykstra under it. And he puts it away for out number three. We've played five complete. And we've decided nothing. It's one to one. In old St. Lou, the gateway to the west. The arch. The Budweiser. The whole nine yards. Okay, so we got Carter, Strawberry, and Mitchell coming up in the top of the sixth. Starting to think about stamina a little bit here. Not my own. <laughs> uh, no, but Joaquin Anderhars, he's faced 21 batters. He's got a limit of 29. In case you're scoring at home, and if you are, may God help you. <laughs> Carter. Carter up there now. It's a 6-4. That's a 16. 
plus one makes 17. It's high to left field. Coleman back. Warning track, but that's all. He puts it away for out number one. Now it's Strawberry. Daryl's one for two. He doubled in the second. The pitch from Andahar is a 5-5, five, five, 20. Plus two makes 22 in column five. And he walked him. Now with Mitchell coming up, we got to hit the action chart again. And it's WPBO, which is not a New Deal organization to get the economy going. No, it's a wild pitch. Passed ball check. Uh, wild pitch rating for the pitcher is not a zero, so we're okay. All right, and the catcher's not a zero either, so we're covered. Now it's Mitchell, strawberry at first, and a hard the stretch. And the pitch is a five, six, that's a three, plus one makes four. Ground ball <clears throat> to Ozzy. He goes to her for one. The relay to Clark is not in time. Mitchell beats the rep. And with two outs, he's on on a fielder's choice. Strawberry's retired at second. Here's Ray Knight, who's 0 for 2. He's lined to Ozzy twice. The pitch from Andujar is a 2-6. We have a looping looper to the left field. Got to roll our die. Three is a three. Is Vince Coleman going to get there? You bet he is. And that's out number three. We've played five and a half. One, one between these titans of the 80s. Ron Darling's fatigue number is 28. And he has faced 23 batters so far. Darling has allowed five hits, Andahar only four. Andahar's run was unearned. The pitch to Pendleton. It's Pendleton, Porter, and Ozzie in the bottom of the sixth for St. Louis. 6-5 six, is a 31, plus two from Darling's card, makes 33 in column six. That's popped up. Wally Backman on the infield carpet. Notice what I did there. On the infield carpet. Puts it away for out number one. Porter. 5-4. That's a three on Porter's card. Plus two on Darling's card. Ground ball hit at Ray Knight. And he fires to Hernandez for out number two. Darling has retired. Two, four, six, eight, seven of the last eight hitters. The pitch to Ozzy is a 4-2. That's a 16. That's second base. That's Wally Backman. And especially on turf, that's not pretty. Uh, 19. But Wally's going to make this play. Yes, he is. Throws to Hernandez. And it's Ron Darling's first 1-2-3 inning. We've played six. And we are tied at one in good old... St. Lou. Bottom of the, or sorry, top of the seventh coming. Andahar facing, whoops, Santana, then Darling, then Dykstra. Unless I hit for Darling, which I might. 0 for 2 for Raphael. 3 2 is a 29. Plus 2 is a 31. And that one is hit to left field straight on a line at Vince Coleman, and he puts it away for out number one. Well, they're going to let Darling bat. He's doing just fine. And our winds and delivers a 3 1. That's a 3. Plus 4 makes 7. And that's in column three, and that's a base hit to left field. Darling comes through on offense. Now it's Dykstra. 
And that's going to get action going in the St. Louis uh, pen of bull. Uh, Ricky Horton and Jeff Lottie are going to start to throw in that St. Louis pen. And that's going to do nothing but upset Mr. Andujar. He gets cranky. How about Game 7 of the 85 World Series? <coughs> if that doesn't scream anger management necessities, I don't know what does. Dykstra's 0 for 2. He scored a run. He's walked. Darling's on first. Andahar the stretch. The pitch to Lenny is a 4-6. That's a 5. To shortstop. That's Ozzy. That makes 6. The flip to her, the relay to Clark, is a soul-crushing, rally-killing 6-4-3 double play. That ends the Mets' seventh. We time to stretch them out and listen to the Budweiser song one more time. Oh, my God. <coughs> Excuse me. So it's Andohar. Coleman and then McGee, and I'm going to let Joaquin bat. Why? Because I'm just that crazy. Darling winds and delivers to Joaquin. It's a 6-2. It's a 36 on his card. Three, <coughs> excuse me, three more from Darling, and that's strike three. It's time for baked beans. Darling through gas. <coughs> excuse me. Yeah. Persistent cough. Okay, Coleman, one for three. <coughs> Excuse me. Six two is a six on Coleman's card, plus two on Darling's makes eight. That's a base hit to left field, and they just put the dangerous Vince Coleman on base. And that's going to get action going in the Mets bullpen. Doug Sisk and Randy Neiman. I love L.A. Oh, no. It's Randy Neiman, not Randy Newman. <laughs> okay. Uh, so Coleman's on board, and McGee is at the plate. It's time for Vince to go. Darling, the stretch. He's going. That's a nine. And Vince Coleman stole that base. All right. Stolen base. He's at second with one out for McGee. Pitch to Willie. 5-5. Five, five. It's a 4-C. Plus 2 from Darling's card makes 6. And he walked him. 2 on now. With her coming up. dreaded B column. That's going to do it for Darling. He went six and a third. He allowed one, two, three, four, five, six hits. He walked one, two, three, four men. He struck out four and no home runs, no hit batters, and no wild pitches. He is on the hook for the loss if these men score. That are on base. Coleman at second. McGee at first. Her is at the plate. Clark is on deck. The new pitcher is Doug Sisk. The sinker baller is a right-hander. 
He pitched in 41 games, 71 innings, 3.06 ERA, 4 and 2 record. <clears throat> Neiman is still pitching, throwing in the bullpen. I love LA. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, Neiman, not Newman. <laughs> okay, so her. <laughs> her is one for two. One out in the seventh. The pitch to Tommy from Sisk is a 3-4. That's a 57. Plus three makes 60 in column three. And we might have a mess on our hands. If it's even, we got a comebacker. It's not even. We got a rare play. So first and second, one out, rare play. And we roll them. And what the heck, let's roll all three. That's an eight. And there's one out. It's manager's option. Offensive manager has the option of calling for the sacrifice bunt. No, we're not going to do that. That would be a really rare play. No, we're not doing it. Okay, so we're re-rolling. Sisk, the stretch, he looks at Coleman at second. The pitch home. 2-6 is a, is a looper to the outfield, and the one tells us it's going toward left. Kevin Mitchell. <clears throat> Charging in. He is a three. And he ain't going to get there. That's going to drop. And Vince Coleman's speed is much greater than Kevin Mitchell's throwing arm. He scores. It's 2-1 St. Louis on the Her single. And Willie McGee is going to get all the way to third base. Because his speed is also greater than Kevin Mitchell's arm. So the Cardinals have first and third for Jack Clark. And someone's going to accompany Randy Neiman. I love L.A. And it's going to be Rick Aguilera doing a little bullpen work today. Righty, lefty, double-barreled action. But now it's Clark, and Sis has to face him. They're going to play in at the corners and back up the middle. They're halfway up the middle. Hoping to turn two. Sisk, the stretch, the pitch. 6 2. Yeah, uh oh. <laughs> Plus one from Sisk. <clears throat> He's got that number. So, first, let's figure out what's happening. Let's see how far Jack's going to hit the ball. He's a right handed batter. And that's a six. And that's a six. And that makes seven. So it's not a home run. It's a base hit to left field. That's going to drive home McGee. It's 3-1 St. Louis. And Tommy Herr will stop at second. Two on. And Van Slyke comes to the plate. Her at second. Clark at first. One out. <clears throat> they could go to Neiman here. He loves L.A. And I think they will. That's going to do it for Sisk. He allowed... He pitched no innings. He allowed two hits. We can close the book on Darling. It's three runs. They're all earned. And he's on the hook for the loss. And Neiman is in to face Van Slyke. Now, Whitey Herzog gets to decide. If he's going to hit for Van Slyke. But the problem is, if you do that, and you got a two-run lead like he currently does, you lose Van Slyke's gloves. So, they're not going to do that. They're going to let Van Slyke face Neiman. Van Slyke is 0 for 3, the pitch. 1 5 is a 5, plus 3 makes 8, and it's popped up. 
Ray Knight is going to handle this one. And there's two outs. Now it's Pendleton. Can Neiman get Pendleton? Terry was a more dangerous left-handed hitter, so they're going to let Neiman face him. The pitch to Terry is a 3-5. That's a 12, plus 4 from Neiman's card makes 16. And a 16 is big, big trouble. Yep, that's what it is. And that's hit to right center and deep. Now, we're going to check Strawberry's arm. It's not quite good enough to get him. And Van Slyke's arm, nowhere near. So, it's a triple for Pendleton. That drives home her from second. It drives home Jack Clark all the way from first. And I think we'd all pay to watch that. Uh, and it's 5-1 St. Louis. Porter coming to the plate. He's a left-handed batter. They're leaving Neiman in to face him. 5-1 with Pendleton 90 feet away. Two outs. The pitch is a 6-12. Oh, oh, a 6-6. Six, six. Yeah, one more from Neiman. Let's see what kind of damage Daryl did on this. It's a 3. That's a lefty. He's a 7. That's an 8. And that's a base hit to center field. That brings home Pendleton. And the Mets bullpen has been filled with arsonists. Neiman is gone. One third of an inning, two hits. One run so far, but Porter is his responsibility. And Aguilera is on now to face Ozzie Smith. On deck is Andujar, who's suddenly jubilant. The pitch. 6-2 is a 7, plus 4 is an 11. Is it time to go crazy, folks? Go crazy? No, it's a base hit. Porter stops. Oop, two outs, two outs. Porter goes to third. First and third for the Cardinals. And here comes Andujar, and the bleeding continues for the Mets. Aguilera's pitch to Andujar is a 4-6. That's a 1. And that's hit to Santana. And he's going to flip to Backman and mercifully end the carnage in the Cardinals' 7th. They score 5 runs on 6 hits. They leave 2. And after 7, it's 6-1 St. Louis. See if I want to make any defensive changes here. Uh, I don't think I do yet. Okay, so Andahar is coming back out. He has faced 28 batters. One more batter and he'll be in his fatigue zone, as I like to call it. Backman's one for three. We're in the top of the eighth. The pitch to Wally. One, one is a 20 plus three from Andahar makes 23. And that is a line drive single to center field, and it might be bobbled by Willie McGee. Willie's error number is not impressive. It's a 31, and he boots it. So, it's a single plus an E8. Getting back into second, and look at the Mets coming back. Horton and Lottie are ready in the Cardinal bullpen. Hernandez at the plate. Keith is two for three with the only ribby of the game for the Mets. The pitch. Five, one is a five. Plus two is a seven. And he walked him. First and second. And that brings up Carter. And here comes Whitey Herzog. That's going to do it for Joaquin, who went seven plus innings. He allowed six hits. So far, only one run, but it wasn't earned. Both runners on base are his responsibility, of course. Backman at second, Hernandez at first. Walks. Joaquin has 
did two of them today, and he struck out. He struck out nobody. Allowed no homers, didn't hit anybody, didn't throw any wild pitches. All right, so it's Lottie to face Carter. 52 inning or 52 games, 68 innings, a 184 earned run average. And before Todd Worrell came on the scene, he was the closer in 85. 19 saves with a 5 and 2, one loss record. Carter in there now, 0 for 3. Two on, nobody out. Mets have a chance. 3 3 is a looper. It's a looper. Center field. We got a 3 on Lottie's card. That gives us one. And it's a four, and that's a four. No, I'm sorry. A three, a four gives us a four. We got a one, and that is a short fly ball. Vince Coleman coming on, and he puts it away for out number one. Now it's Strawberry. Mitchell on deck. Daryl one for two with a walk. The pitch from Lottie is a 5-3. That's a 7. Plus two from Lottie's card makes a 9. And that is ball four. The bases are loaded with Mets for Kevin Mitchell. And suddenly Whitey Herzog's bullpen springs into action. It's going to be Todd Worrell and Ken Daly. Taking over for Ricky Horton, who may or may not have heard of who. Mitchell's over three. Infield at double play depth. Lottie, ready to go to Mitchell. Knight is on deck. 6 1 is a six, plus one makes seven. It's not a home run. It's a single to left field. Hernandez will stop at third. The bases remain loaded. It's five. It's 6-2. Six, 6-2, two. Six, two, Cardinals. Tying run is now at the plate. I misspoke before. 0 for 3 for Knight. Lottie the stretch. The infield at double played up. The pitch. 5-6 is a 2. Plus two makes four. Ground ball shortstop. That's Ozzy. He goes to her for one. The relay to Clark. Not in time. Hernandez scores at 6-3 on the fielder's choice. Mitchell is retired at second. Strawberry makes it to third. So it's Strawberry at third, Knight at first. And now two men out in the Mets eighth. 6-3. Santana do. And that ain't going to happen. That just ain't going to happen. So, it's time for movie star handsome Lee Mazzilli to grab a bat and come off the bench. And he's going to hit for Santana. <clears throat> who may or may not have a black magic woman. All right, so, Whitey's gotta make a decision. He's gonna stick with Lottie. In the on-deck circle is Rick Aguilera, but nobody believes he's gonna bat the pitch. 2-1 is a 39, plus 2 makes 41 in column 2. This one is grounded to Ozzy. He flips to her, and the inning is over. But the Mets score 2 on 2 hits. They leave 2. Lottie eventually gets him out of the inning. And we go to the bottom of the 8th. It's 6-3 Cardinals. The new shortstop, and I use that term, and it's... Oh, no, it's not true. That's not true. I was almost going to say something. That wouldn't have been nice, but I won't talk about Howard Johnson's fielding. Instead, we're going to talk about Kevin Elster. He's going to be the new shortstop and bat in the eighth spot.
All right. Aguilera is back out for inning number eight. It's 6-3 Cardinals in the bottom of the eighth. They have Coleman, McGee, and her coming up one more time. They have let off the inning three, well now, four times in the game, the pitch. One four is a two, six is a two. Aggie strikes him out with plenty of broccoli and cauliflower with a little cheese sauce on top for some extra gas. One out, bottom of the eighth. McGee, one for three, the pitch. Two fours and 11 plus six makes 13. And a 13's a base hit for Willie McGee. They can't keep him off base. He's been on three times today. Now it's Tommy Herr. <clears throat> Willie's going, by the way. Pitch to her. There goes Willie. And it's Poe. Get out your Edgar Allan Poe readers, ladies and gentlemen. Possible error. But it's not. He gets back. Tommy Herr, one out, one on. The pitch. Four, four is a five. Two is to Wally Backman. And they're going to... Uh, what are they going to do? They're going to do... Backman going to... Elster for one, and that's all they're going to get. It's a 4-6 fielder's choice. Her is safe. And Clark gets to bat one more time. Aguilar Clark is one for three. Two outs, the eighth inning. Her. One-four is a 35, plus one for, from Aguilera's card is 36. Ground ball, Ray Knight. He's going to go the short way to Backman covering second, and that will retire the Mets, or the Cardinals, in the eighth. The Mets go to the ninth, needing three to keep this game alive. <clears throat> Lottie is back out. Daly and Worrell are ready. And here comes Danny Heap to bat for Aguilera to lead off the ninth inning. On deck, Lenny Dykstra. It's 6-3. Mets need to rally. The pitch from Lottie is a 5-1. That's a 5. Plus 1 is a 6. And he walked him. And here comes Whitey Herzog, and he wants daily. So Lottie goes one inning, one hit, one walk. No runs yet, but Heap is his responsibility, and Daly is on now in the ninth. Davey Johnson is going to his bench because Dykstra will not face the left-hander. couple of ways he could go here, but he's going to go with he's going to go with Mookie Wilson. Mookie will pinch hit for Dykstra. Pitch from Daly to Wilson. Heap at first. 2-2 two, two is an 11. Plus 3 is a 12 in column 2. And that's a base hit to left field. Heap moves up to second base, not getting too adventurous. And Mookie stops at first. Now it's Backman. Whitey leaves Daly out there, so we're going to see another pinch hitter. It's going to be Tim Tuffle. Keith Hernandez on deck, then Carter. Mets making it interesting here in the ninth. There's nobody out. And the tying run at the plate and Tim Tuffle. Daily the stretch, the pitch is a 6-3. That's a 16. Plus one makes 17. 
That's to left and high and deep and Coleman to the track and he makes the catch. One gone in the ninth inning and Heap returns to second base. Hernandez up now facing Daly. Keith is two for three. Ribby and a run scored. The pitch. Three three is a 32. Plus one makes 33 in column three. That's a line shot right at Willie McGee. He's in the gap. He's going to get there and make the catch. Two gone. Heap again returns to second base. And now it's Carter. But here comes Whitey Herzog because he wants Worrell to finish off the job. A very youthful but hard-throwing Todd Worrell, making his Major League debut in 1985. 17 games, 22 innings, 291 ERA, 3-0 record with five saves and definitely the closer in the playoffs. So, Worrell takes over. Chance for the save. Heap still at second. Wilson still at first. Carter at the plate. Still the tying run. Worrell the stretch. The pitch to Gary Carter is a 1-6. That's a 45. Plus 1 is a 46. It's a comebacker. No, they're not halfway. He struck him out. That ends the ball game. It's a 6-3 Cardinals winner. The winning pitcher, Joaquin Andujar. The loser, Ron Darling. Although he deserved a better fate, Worrell gets the save, his first. Cardinals take the first two games of the series, 5-2 and this one 6-3. The line score for the victorious Cardinals, six runs on 11 hits, and they committed one, two, three errors. The Mets, three runs on eight hits, and they committed one, one error. Thank you for joining me. This has been Replay Baseball. Tune in again. Don't forget to click like and subscribe to my channel. Tell me what you liked about the game. And we will see you soon for more baseball sim action. Take care. So long, everybody.